Golden placed his paw behind his back. He then placed his other paw over his very much still injured ear. How did Scott not notice the oil coming out of his head? Uh, yeah, Scott asked. What about? Had something else happened? The kids were safe, but what about? Scott's eyes shot to what used to be Golden's ear. What the? He rushed Golden into the children's room to get him all fixed up. Scott grumbled as he worked. He knew about Purple stealing Golden's ear, but why did he have to do it so messy? This was going to take time to fix, time that Scott did not have. Scott was also in a tricky predicament where he couldn't let Golden and the other children know that he knew what had happened to Golden. That was for him to know and them to not. That was going to be a tricky thing to remember. Freddy, who was oblivious to all this, was very not pleased with the situation at all. You better not be hurting my brother, Mr. Scott, he growled. Golden chuckled at his brother's antics, and Scott continued to grumble. Freddy, calm down, he replied. <sighs> Where Freddy had gotten his protective instincts, Scott could only guess and hope that it wasn't from him. Freddy snaked around Scott and then came right up to Goldie. He was not pleased. Freddy had just saved Goldie from, from that purple guy, and he was ready to fight for him again. Freddy's eyes switched, not to his full rage mode, but that subtle warning glare instead. Golden's eyes fell to Freddy's. Oh, dear. <laughs> no need for that. He reached down and held Freddy's paw. Freddy growled, but he didn't move. Golden sighed. Freddy was on edge, but he was safe. And Golden Freddy was going to do everything in his power to keep it that way. Scott? Hey everybody, Elsie Rowe here and welcome back to our lovely show. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It's been, I can say it enough. I love redrawing these old comics and getting to explore the more complex themes of them. And I love giving Goldie this chance for him to finally express how he's been feeling about this whole crazy shenanigans. And I am just, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Also, we get to see more of Scott and understand his, com well, our Scott phone guy. We get to learn more of his complicated situation in this whole storyline. And I just, oh, I love it. And honestly, I've been having way too much fun with this. <laughs> I hope y'all are having a wonderful day and I will see you next time on our lovely show. Bye. <laughs>